Rhode Island, it is day three of distance learning in the city of Warwick, but there are already some changes being announced for the way some students will be learning. School committee voted unanimously last night to allow kindergartners and their teachers back into the classroom, but it's going to look much different than a typical year, of course. And 12 News reporter Kate Walsh will listen into that Zoom meeting. She joins us live in Warwick with an update for us. Well, guys, it's all about a balancing act. At last night's Warwick School Committee Zoom meeting, they heard research showing that kindergartners do best in a classroom setting, not remotely. That's the best way they can learn. But as we know, previously the Warwick School Committee voted to have all learning this year, starting off the school year at least remotely. So they voted again last night, and this time they voted five to zero in favor of kindergartners back in the building. All kindergartners in Warwick whose parents want them to return to the classroom will be going to the Veterans Memorial Middle School. There will be 56 self-contained classrooms with eight students in each room, and the move will take about three to five days to do. That means movers will now be spending time packing up the kindergarten classes in each elementary school. Only items that are needed by the teachers will be moved. All items will be packed by the movers. The move will cost just over $50,000. Students will be kept in the same group all day. There will be added custodial staff to clean bathrooms in between each stable group's use. Bathrooms are located within the hallway. Courtyard access is available from the hallways. These classrooms are located in a different section of the building than the K-12 plus special education, education classes. Everything will be sanitized throughout the day and deep cleaned at night. Breakfast and lunch will be dropped off outside each classroom by an Aramark staff. But before this vote last night, school committee members heard from parents who wrote in to explain just how difficult they're finding virtual learning is already for their children of different grades. My child is drowning at home. My child is 17 and for the first time in mine and my husband's careers, we have to now consider leaving our job and or trying to find part-time work to be home with our 17-year-old who is drowning. Most parents who wrote in and their letters were read in the Zoom meeting said they simply want to have the choice to send their children back into a building or not and said they don't need pristine conditions, just safe enough to return. The school committee said right now the buildings aren't safe, but they are working on getting proper air filtration systems, and we'll talk more about that in the next half hour. For now, we're live in Warwick. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.